Right, I'm going to do uh, some walkthrough solves using this method that uses only one algorithm. All these solves will start off with a white cross, um, so we can start them this way around. Um, and uh, scrambles, you can go along with the scrambles, put them in the description. So in this case, the first thing to do would be to build a white cross, you locate the edges, got one there which is already made up, this one is right here, there's another one here, another one here. Now the first thing I notice is that this is actually opposite where it needs to go, and so is this. So actually these two are relative to each other in terms of where they need to go. And this one as well is being brought in with the bargain. So what I would do is I would bring this one down, move this along, and bring this one down, and then I'm about to move this across to make solve all of these but first while this is free I'm going to move this one down and each time I'm joining up um, the cross piece with one of the sides and then rotating it in and that gives me this sort of cross shape this piece is wrong at the moment so we can ignore that and we then we move on to doing corners so we look in the top row there's a corner here it belongs over here bring it round do our algorithm, in it goes. This one goes in here, do our algorithm, in it goes. This one goes over here, do our algorithm, in it goes. And we've got our three corner pieces in, move on to the edges. One of the edges is up here, goes in here. So line it up with the corresponding side, and rotate the empty free slot in and then do our algorithm until it's in the slot we can then correct the bottom the next one is this one so this blue orange piece was already in the top it can go in there we line it up here but notice we have to do it left handed otherwise we ended up end up with it twisted in it goes correct the bottom this piece and this piece so this one this is a right handed one this time move it in one, two, we'll go in and we've got our three sides done, missing a missing a piece. The next step is to orient all the top pieces. Now they are actually all oriented now um, straight away because if I go like this and insert the last piece, these are all the right way up. And what I have here is um, I have uh, a swap that this needs to go over here. This one. Uh, no, sorry. This one needs to go here. This one needs to go here. This one needs to go here. And there's a couple of ways I can do that. Um, because it's a cycle of three, if I identify the cycle of three, this one needs to go here. So I can do the algorithm to push this one here, as we've already met. Because it go, this one will go here. This one will go here. This one will go back down here. And then what I can do is I can just swap that and swap that. So that will look like this. So I do the algorithm to push this one into this slot. I then rotate, push this one up and back and they're all in the right places and you hopefully you can see what happened there just by knowing that these which way they're going to swap and which one is going to pop back into this this place here gives you a massive head start into how to do the rest so the last step is to solve all the corners turn it upside down you look for where this corner goes orange green, orange green is over here, orange green, do our algorithm until it gets into the slot, again we've now got green red, one, two, three, it's in the slot, again this one, one, two, three, it's in the slot, and now this one, one, two, three, it's in the slot. Now at this point we're still a little bit scrambled, these two need to be corrected. So we'll continue the algorithm until the back pieces are sorted out, which is like that. And that ends up in this situation. So everything is solved except the last two. Put these at the bottom. We'll give it a couple of algorithms until that one's solved. And again, two more, and that solves the first cube. Scramble number one. Okay, number two. Again, I'll do a, a white cross. Um, for all these pieces and we can see already that quite a lot of the, of the white pieces are on the right side already 
um, but what we've got here is we've got these around the wrong way you can see that the blue and orange around are incorrect so these need to swap so the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to use this piece this white pi this this piece here and kick out this piece and to do that I'm just going to rotate it and kick it like that so all I did there was I'm and this is this is actually called a sledgehammer move which we can come back to another time all I'm doing is I'm moving this piece out of the way at the same time as moving this one in kicking this piece out of the way and then all I'll do is I'll move the bottom layer so I can then rotate this into position and then I can correct it and solve the rest of the cross I might do a video about how that all works another time now it would be really nice to do this pair but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do them one at a time so I'm going to do this one put this one in the corner this one in the corner there this one now uh, will go in this corner so there we go that's our algorithm three times get our three corners in do the, move on to the edge pieces this edge piece goes in here with the empty not across solve it we can then do this one here pink green and I've actually managed to solve one of the corners so that doesn't matter I'll just move anyone across solve that corner across it's upset this corner but we don't mind about that and the last one we want is the uh, is the pink blue edge one two or red blue uh, depending on your color scheme and then we're on to orienting the edge pieces as is quite simple you can see that this piece needs to move up and because of our algorithm we know that this piece will go here this piece will go here and this piece will pop back into the slot so we do our algorithm once it's now in the slot and then we can look at this piece here and we know that it will go into the slot if it's here one round of our algorithm and it's in now we look at how to correct the top layer so line up the front probably the easiest thing to start with now we have the situation where these two are correct and these two need swapping now that obviously uh, it's actually that's only a swap of two we have to it has to be a swap of three if we're gonna stand any chance of doing this so what we can do is we can simply do a little swap of our own so we'll do a swap like that moving this piece in and then what we'll do is we'll exchange these two pieces like that now what's happened there is we should now have a cycle of three so all I did was I did a swap across um, exchanged one for the other I did a little cycle of three basically um, this pink this green side is correct this piece needs to go over here this piece needs to go here this piece needs to go here so again when I do this this piece will pop up to the top um, with the algorithm and well let, let, let's just see how it goes we'll just do it what I'll end up doing is I'll end up doing it twice so I'll go up like that to kick this piece into the top now actually I want this blue piece in here so what I can do is I can do this and then I can do the algorithm backwards to get it, the blue piece in here okay the blue piece is now opposite the green so if I swap that round you see that's right now I can swap this piece in for this one and just one two and that's using the same algorithm again just to sort these pieces and exchange them for the, what's in the slot now let's try and do uh, the remaining corners so the remaining corners what do we have we have pink blue and then green orange and then that one and then finally this one and what I'll do is I'll solve it, rotate this into match, 
and then wait until these two are finished swapping. So we'll do it a few more times, and then these are now finished swapping. Then we can focus on these two. So that's one, two, that's solved. One, two, three, four, solved. Now let's do this one quite much faster. So white, pi white edge pieces, um, we've got one already solved. This one is connected, ready to go. This one green, green relative to orange uh, is, so orange is on the side. So this green piece would have to go in relation to this one there. And this blue piece would have to go opposite green. So if green was going there, blue would want to go there. And so what we can do is we'll, we'll start rotating this. We'll go up like this and put the blue in. This piece comes down, goes opposite. We can then correct the green piece and solve the red piece. Because all the red piece did was it moved up to the top. And then we just do a quick turn, half turn, to get it in the slot. OK. Now I'll concentrate on the corners. One down, two down, three down. Then we'll just pick an edge that hasn't been solved. So this one, pop that in the slot. Then this isn't, then we need to do this one. So this is green, orange. Move the slot in. And that actually kicked this um, edge out that we need here. So this edge ends up here, we line it up, one, two, get it into the slot again, and we have our block again, moving on to orienting corners, edges, now this can be done very quickly, we know if we do a left handed move here, this piece will pop into this slot, because you can see all the orange, this is, um, this is lined up, and also this is yellow on the front. So if I do this once with the left hand, I don't need to do any more left-handed moves. Let's see what we've got. So we've got, the, again, the case. We've got the case where these look like they've swapped, but they haven't really. And we need to do a cycle of three. So orange needs to go across there. Green needs to go there. Is that the one? So, so these two relative to each other are solved. So if we kick this one out, and put these two opposite, then what we can do is, um, we, we kind of need to do a full rotation actually. So let's see what's the easiest way of doing this one. Right, so let's do it this way. So this one, if we if we move this across, we know that these, these two are solved relative to each other are solved. So was, we'll put that one in, and now we have three pieces that are essentially are solved. Now what we're going to do is we're going to walk it round, um, swapping neighbours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, swap this one for this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, and just by using U moves. So I'm going to go like that, like that. Now that was a bit mysterious, but all I did was I sort of did a rotation of all the pieces. So I just move them around by one. That gave me essentially my cycle of three. And now they are all in the right positions. Um, try it yourself. So this piece needs to go in here. This piece needs to go in here. This piece I'm, I'll just swap for something that's already there. And actually I can swap it again. And we get lucky. Full solve.